Trump campaign advisory board member Natalie Harp credits President Trump with saving her life when America's Jen Pellegrino caught up with Harp following her RNC speech. Take a look. Natalie Harp has battled stage two bone cancer for most of her life, and she made headlines in 2019 when she praised President Trump for supporting the right to try, an act that she says saved her life. In the classic Jimmy Stewart film, It's a Wonderful Life, George Bailey is given a great gift, the chance to see what the world would be like without him. Tonight, Mr. President, we'd like to give you that same gift, because without you, we'd all be living in Pottersville sold out to a crooked Mr. or I should say a crooked Mrs. Potter with no hope of escape except death itself. I should know because I wouldn't be alive today if it wasn't for you. Right to Try legislation gives terminally ill patients access to experimental therapies when other options have failed and it gave Natalie hope for a future. For decades, there was no right to try. It took the president to actually get it done, where it's like, you know what? If you can't get into clinical trials, if you fail what's on the market, you can actually try those experimental medications now. I mean, we saw it yesterday with convalescent plasma, with the president totally streamlining the FDA and working together with medical innovation to actually get a cure or treatments approved, and even before they're approved, let people access them so that they don't die waiting. I'm living with cancer, I'm not dying from it anymore, which is really a miracle. I mean, when I was in a wheelchair, I was in so much pain, and it's like now I'm living a quality of life that I never thought I'd be able to have. And it's like, that's all thanks to the president. A president who many know for his tough exterior and his penchant for speaking his mind, but who delivers his promise to save American lives. He has such a heart for the people of this country, you know, and when you're terminally ill, you're not on anybody's short list. But with the president, when he says, you know, one life lost is too many, he means it. I mean, he saved my life. I'm just one life of many that he saved. I mean, we could say millions that he saved when you go back to the China travel ban. But he has such heart because he cares about the people. In a year that future generations will remember for a global pandemic, the lives of Americans depend on how they vote on November 3rd. So, I mean, there's a lot at stake at this election. This is the last time we could ever vote on health care. Well, when you're fighting for your life, like you want to be able to see a doctor, you want to be able to get the treatment that you want to have. And if Joe Biden were to win, all those rights are gone. They decide it's survival of the fittest. So vote for the president because he actually cares about us and he's going to get the job done. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.